Here's how we keep some fresh stuff in our diet when we're living off homegrown and wild food. As we mentioned the other week, we mainly do our living off the land challenge because we find it to be a fun way to push ourselves, but it's also a great way to learn what it actually takes to produce our own food and live comfortably off of it. We're well into winter in Pittsburgh now, and while we have a ton of food stored up from our community garden plots and the woods, we also like to have some fresh produce. Unfortunately, our beloved city is a frozen wasteland right now, so there's not much available to forage. And that's where indoor oyster mushrooms come in real handy. Oyster mushrooms can grow on pretty much any dry plant material, and we found that spent corn stalks and straw works best for us. Also, those are two things we have readily available for free or dirt cheap. The most common method to prevent mold from growing on the straw and corn stalks instead of oyster mushrooms is to cook them in hot water before adding the mushroom spawn, but that requires a lot of energy. So recently, we've been using ground limestone to raise the pH of the straw and corn stalks to the point where the oyster mushrooms can thrive, but mold has trouble growing. If you wanna grow some food but don't have the space, this is a great option.